Okay, this is the first part of 6.9. We're gonna learn about hyperbolic trig functions. Here are the definitions. So the hyperbolic sign is called sinh x. We can also write it, it's of x, function of x. And same with this one, the hyperbolic cosine is cosh x and we can write it like so. So they are very similar and they involve e to the x minus x. The cinch x has a minus in between, the cosh x has a plus. I'm gonna sketch them. So basically, we're gonna be adding these two functions together. So let's graph both of those. So this one's reflected about the x and the y. And then adding these two functions up, one's positive a half, one's a negative one half. We have an asymptote here at zero. So we're adding zero to this. So it's gonna be going up. And we have an asymptote at zero. We're essentially adding zero to this other function. And there's sinh x, the graph of sinh x. It kind of looks like a, it's an odd function, kind of like a x to the third similar. So here we are going to add, these are both positive functions, both are going to cross half, half plus a half, it's going to be one. Again, it's going up because we're adding it to zero, and same with here. And that's going to be an even function. We can write out our limits, positive, negative. Looks like it's going, they're both possible. Both end behaviors are positive infinity. Let's write that out. So hyperbolic functions, they behave very similar to trig functions, but sometimes they're off by a negative, not always. So we'll write out some identities. Hyperbolic tangent actually is the sinh of x over the cosh of x. And then if you wanted the formula, you just stack those e's. Twos cancel. So, our trig functions satisfy the unit circle, x squared plus y squared equals one, and the hyperbolic sine satisfies x squared minus y squared equals one, and this is our hyperbola graph. So that those points satisfy that equation. I'll go ahead and prove these three. So we start with the left-hand side, and then we just plug in our formula. You write this out enough times, you'll have it memorized. And then we do the math. Square the top, square the bottom. Foil the top, I should say. e to the x, e to the x is x, e to the 2x, x plus x. Two of these terms. We have a common denominator. This is just one, by the way because it's e to the zero, which is one. Distribute. e to the two x minus e to the two x plus e to the minus two x minus opposites, they cancel, and we get four over four. Left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So we actually want to prove this, but we're gonna use our first one, which we just proved. So this is how we prove our trig identities with sine and cosine. I always take this first one and I want tangent. So sine over cosine is tangent, but these are hyperbolics. So I'm going to divide through by cosh squared x. We got it. And proof of three, I'll let you guys try that on your own. We're just gonna take this one and divide through by Cinch squared x on both sides to create that. Here's some even more identities. 
some of angles. So hopefully most of these look familiar. Again, some of them are off by a sign, but not all of them. These are easily proved either using the original, original definition with the E's or using previous identities. So this is to determine if these functions are odd or even. We saw the graph of Cauch, it looks like a parabola, like an X squared. So this is even, so this negative goes away. And this is odd, so that negative transfers out. Now let's work out some of the derivatives. The first one. So that half is a constant, so it can come out. And then we can take the derivative of each term. But you have to do the chain rule. The derivative of minus x is minus 1. And that looks... Yep. Half comes out. Again, we copy, take the chain rule, take the derivative of negative, and the two negatives is positive. So now using these facts, we can use the quotient rule of all the other trig functions. And if you remember, this was our identity that was 1. And there we have it. And the others. But there's actually a minus in front of this one. The last thing I want us to look at. So we're going to show a pretty simple identity. But let's work it out. So we're going to start with the right-hand side and plug in the definitions. It's plus, it's cosh. We have a common denominator. This cancels. We have two of those. And we got it. That's it for today. Next video, part two, we'll talk about the inverse hyperbolic trig functions.